Hello, everyone. Welcome to our presentation. We are Team 23, and we are going to talk to you about organophosphate nerve agents today. In recent light of events in Syria with chemical gas attacks, we wanted to know exactly what are organophosphates, how do they work, and if there are, if there are any treatments available to us. So just as an introduction, organophosphates were first discovered by Gerhard Schrader uh, prior to World War I. He was a German chemist working in agriculture who stumbled across these properties uh, purely by accident. Uh, some of the principal organophosphate nerve agents are seen on the screen right now, and the ones that uh, Gerhardt was part of were GA, GB, GD, and GF. Gerhardt Schrader was personally involved in making all of these except for VX, although he never intended for them to be used as weapons against humans. He was purely interested in industry and agriculture. But before I continue, it's important to note exactly where these effects take place, the neuromuscular junction. The neuromuscular junction is the site in which a neuron meets a muscle. When acetylcholine is delivered to a muscle through an acetylcholine receptor, it contracts. To relax a muscle, though, it's not as simple as just removing acetylcholine from the receptor. This, falls, this task falls to an enzyme known as acetylcholinesterase, whose function is to move in to this, uh, the cleft and cleave acetylcholine into two pieces, choline and acetate. It does this through the catalytic triad involving glutamate, histidine, and serine. Primarily, serine is a nucleophile which facilitates the cleaving of acetylcholine into its constituent parts. This is also the site in which organophosphates attack. Organophosphates use an electron-deprived phosphorus, usually due to a uh, highly electronegative bond, see an X up there. The serine will attack this phosphorus, and the highly electronegative bond will break and float off. Once organophosphates bind to this serine, it renders them useless, which means that acetylcholinesterase cannot perform its function, and therefore acetylcholine builds up in the synaptic cleft. When this occurs, muscles seize up and are unable to relax. Side effects include dizziness, sweating, nausea, vomiting, uh, tearing up at the eyes, salivation, loss of feeling. Uh, all of these are, are derived from, from the disruption of acetylcholine at these sites. As said, these, uh, this bond is covalent and permanent without treatment. Fortunately, though, there are treatments. Uh, two of the treatments that are most popular are atropine and tupam. Atropine is a acetylcholine, is a competitive acetylcholine antagonist, meaning that it can enter acetylcholine sites and bind there, removing the acetylcholine molecule and providing temporary relief to individuals affected by organophosphate poisoning. The other drug, 2PAM, is actually an enzyme reactivator. It moves into the inactivated cleft, uh, or the, it moves into the cleft of the inactivated enzyme and removes organophosphates by shuffling around their, uh, their, their covalent bonds such that the result is serine as it used to be and 2PAM bound to uh, the organophosphate which diffuses off into the cytosol. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you learned something new about organophosphates.